Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. What we're going to talk about today, just very briefly, is this port here on the side of a Zenith Stromberg carburetor. And so uh, it's partially taken apart here, but if you can imagine, this is the side that attaches to the manifold. Over here is where you're going to have the air cleaner. Here's your choke. Uh, this is the, it opens and throws, opens and closes, sorry, the throttle plate. This side of the carb, it's not attached, but you'd have your temperature compensator here. That's your bypass valve. Um, here's some hoses that come out of here. Your fuel goes in there. So just to kind of help you navigate where exactly we're looking. Uh, but again, air cleaner here, and you've got a port coming out. So what does this do? That is part of your float bowl vent. And on earlier versions, all that you had was this hole at the back. Now this one's it's still there, it's still open, uh, and this hole at the back goes in to the carb and kind of vents into this area here, which is inside the float bowl. You'd have that sitting on top, or on bottom, I guess, as it were. Uh, but it vents from that area out through this hole. It gets drawn in then to the air cleaner and into the throat of the carb, goes into the engine, which is fine. Now later on, you started having charcoal canisters. I haven't got one here to show you, but you, I'm sure you could picture it. It's kind of a big black cylinder, and it'll have either two or three ports on the top of it. One of those ports is going to go to the fuel tank, and that's for fuel tanks that do not have a vented cap. So you'll notice on your fuel tank, and again, I don't have one of those I'm going to show you right now, but there's a, at the fuel neck usually, it doesn't have to be there, but at the fuel neck, there's going to be a tube that comes out of it. It'll run underneath the car along the chassis all the way to that charcoal canister go in the top. If you have one with three ports, this is the style of Zenith Stromberg carburetor that's going to match it. I believe on Triumphs, they started using those around 1973. So if you've got a 73 and later car, it's likely that you have this. It's going to have a port here on the side of the carburetor. That's also going to go to one of the ports on that charcoal canister. The third one then, it's going to go to this side. Uh, depending on your setup, uh, your car might be different, right? But on most Triumphs, it's going to go right in here. And it'll also connect to the valve cover on the engine. And so what you've got then is you've got a vent from the fuel tank and a vent from your carburetor, that's this, that are going to the charcoal canister. And it's being drawn in, and so is, by the way, the crankcase vent coming from the valve cover. They're all connecting and they're being drawn in through the charcoal canister into here. And so you've got a very slight negative pressure on that charcoal canister. Uh, it's going into the engines, being recirculated, reused. So that's where this comes in. It's an emissions component so that it's venting the float bowl. But sometimes you're just venting the float bowl straight into the mouth of the carb. So how does the carburetor choose between it? That. is what this little valve is for, okay? So on a lot of these, it's frozen. I've loosened this one up, and you can see it moving in and out. So what's happening is, when the throttle is closed, it pushes in on that valve. You open up the throttle, a spring will push it back out. So all you're doing is you're moving a piston that's in this tube back and forth. And that is choosing, then, whether you're venting to here or to here. That's, that's all it is. It's a valve. And so if your valve happens to be frozen, try and free it up. You can spray some WD-40 down in there and then very carefully uh, get a, a something to kind of extend it. This is too narrow, but get something in here. You can tap it kind of with a hammer there. Oh, look at that. See, it's not completely unfrozen yet. You can tap it very gently with a hammer, then get something in this side, push it back the other direction, and keep spraying in WD-40 or some other kind of penetrant. Just be patient with it. It'll eventually free up in most cases. If it doesn't, uh, well, that's another story, but I guess technically you could drill this out and redo it. There's a spring in here uh, that, that forces it back out. So if that's broken, all bets are off. You've got a lot of work ahead of you. But generally speaking, you can free it up and you can see the springs moving the piston back and forth. So that's all it's doing. It's choosing whether the float bolt vents to here or to here. This goes to the charcoal canister. So does the line coming from the fuel tank. 
and then the third port on that charcoal canister is going to draw it back in through out of the charcoal canister and put it into the stream going into the engine. And this will also, you have to have this connected because it's also part of the crankcase vent. So if you don't have that, you are going to be more susceptible to oil leaks, uh, too much crankcase pressure, it's going to cause some problems there. And if this isn't connected, technically speaking, you could, you're, I'm not advocating this because there's not a reason to, but you could just let it vent to atmosphere. So if you don't have a charcoal canister on your car, do not block this off because if you do, you're, you're removing the vent and you're going to end up having too much pressure wanting to come out of this opening. It's going to be spilling fuel out. Uh, you're going to have an excess of pressure in the crankcase. It's going to vent out wherever it can. And so you need this to be open. So that's it. Quick tip for today. That's it. Um, float bowl vent, also a float bowl vent, and this valve that moves inside right there opens up when you open up the throttle and it's just choosing whether the vent is going to be attached to this hole or this one here, which is going either to the air cleaner or the carbon canister out of here. And that's it. Hope that clears up some questions.